Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Japanese cuisine or Korean cuisine? This is what we're gonna find out. I tried restaurants of both cuisines and I decided to share both of my experiences with you guys. For the Japanese restaurant, I took Uber and headed to City Stars Mall. The name of the restaurant is Mori Sushi, and this place is quite famous here. The design is quite simple, nothing is too fancy for a sushi place, you know. They got a huge menu and so many temptations to try out. I remember that day we were thirsty as hell, so we started off with some beverages. I had a strawberry mojito, it's basically lemon, mint, strawberry, syrup and soda. It was super refreshing, sweet yet sour at the same time, which I didn't mind at all. We also had wawi mango and muri lemon and they were just as refreshing. After getting quenched, we had to two good looking appetizers, chicken goza and bonbon. These are traditional Japanese grilled dumplings. They're filled with minced chicken and served with goza sauce and spicy lemon. I honestly like the bonbon better. It's basically baby shrimp with red cheddar and mozzarella cheese with sweet chili sauce. It's really delicious and I do recommend it. Then we had three gorgeous dishes, the Muri Shrimp Salmon Tempura, Crab Hosomaki, and Salmon Timaki. Let's start with the Hoso. These thin sushi rolls were amazing, and these little crabs stuffed inside didn't fail me. Taste is good and kinda addictive. I felt like having another piece after every piece. However, this Kon Sushi Timaki thing wasn't as satisfying. I picked the Salmon Avocado Cucumber Mix. I don't want to offend the Timaki lovers taste was like a regular sushi you know but problem was it was huge and couldn't enjoy eating it third dish was shrimp rolled with salmon and cream cheese with a dipping sauce I didn't quite like the dipping sauce and couldn't figure out what it was it was sweet kind of fruity but the shrimp themselves tasted super fine. For main course, we spoiled our appetites with this stunning 40 piece plate. It contains all different types of sushi. I think this plate is the smartest option to go with. You can just have it and you will have the perfect sushi experience. My fave though was the Oromaki. Something about making them inside out made the taste epic. I have a sweet tooth, so I had this homemade cheesecake and it was creamy and sweet enough. Loved it. We also had creme brulee and if you're visiting Muri Sushi soon, it's imas. It's basically rich custard with caramelized brown sugar. It was perfect. Loved Muri Sushi, loved their beverages, loved their desserts, loved the atmosphere, loved the staff. So my experience was full of love, 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 love. A couple of days later, we decided to have lunch at a Korean place. But this time we got into the metro because it was the fastest, cheapest way we could take to go there. <laughs> And boom, we're here. So the place is called Gaya, and in Korean it means to get going, if I'm not mistaken. If you're following me in my Instagram, you probably know I'm crazy about Korea, Korean, K pop, K drama, you know. So this place reminded me of a drama that I like very much. It's called my Ajashi. And that Ajashi used to hang out with his brothers in a place similar to this one. So I felt good when I entered. Thank God they got every Korean dish I so long wanted to try. The 
The first thing they serve is some called appetizers, famous of all the kimchi. Love the kimchi, though it burned my lips so bad. First dish arrived, and it was none other than the great kimbab. It's the Korean um, version of the sushi, and after trying both, I don't know, I love sushi because it's sushi, and I loved the kimbab because it's korean so you know what i mean second we had the veggies rolled omelet have seen it in a drama as well but i didn't like it there was a really bitter taste of a leafy green vegetable that i didn't like at all and it ruined the entire roll next came the sweet and sour shrimp Again, seen it in dramas, thank you K-drama, was delish. The sauce was thick and sweet. This might sound weird, but the taste was exactly how I pictured it, you know? I had it with steamed rice, and these together made me fall in love with Korean food even more. Last but certainly not least, the greatest of all, the beef bulgogi. It was steaming hot and literally speaking, bulgogi means fire meat. And out of everything Korean I've ever tried in my entire life, this amazing dish wins. It was intensely flavorful and the slices of the meat were thin, so I didn't have to chew them forever. And that was pretty at Gaia. I had definitely wanted to try more dishes. Honestly, I could go to Gaia again for the sake of the Korean dishes only. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you got an idea about both Japanese and Korean cuisines. Out of the two restaurants, which food experience you liked or would like to try? We're all for now. So...